What's up, Magic the Rescuing fans? The long-awaited da 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 double masters. Man, we have been waiting for this for a while. The spoilers have been out for a really long time. Oh, hey, look who it is. The Money Toad's back to help us out. We're gonna need him today, and hopefully, two rares, two foils is gonna be too powerful. Uh, we're gonna get right into this, it's so exciting. We've got a couple of these and some VIPs, and the Stork also dropped off some lovely bundles of joy today. And we'll be sharing some of that stuff with you guys as we go along here, but you know on release day, we've gotta get straight into one of these boxes. And it's a Masters box, and people thought that Masters was going away. And here it is, back double time. You know they gotta have all the weird cardboard inserts. Got our, I think that's the Blight Steel Colossus and Kalia the Vast on the front. So, if true to it, okay, there's, I see one. Okay. I hope there's two in here, but there's supposed to be two box toppers. I see one. Maybe there's two cards. I haven't seen anybody open any of these boxes, so what I'm hoping is that there's two cards in the one pack. That's how it's supposed to be. So here we go. Oh, I mess. I totally messed up where where the packs were too. So we're not going to know left, right, center. We're just going to know that stack one, stack two, stack three. And we can't ever forget. We're going to put this up by by our little toad friend here, and hopefully we get some sweet pulls out of this stuff. We're going straight in. I don't have any real good. I know what's good, obviously, in this but I don't know what the value cards are. So we're gonna take a look through. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time unless we see something stick out. I know there are some commons and uncommons in here that can be pretty good. I'm gonna put some stuff to the side. But, okay. Dark Steel Citadel, Sentinel of the Pearl, Trident, and Jorah's Familiar. What a cool card that is for the uncommon. Starting off with a Braids Conjure Adept for our first rare. Geth Lord of the Vault, first mythic. Very nice. And now, from what I understand, we are going to have two foils. We're starting off with a Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot, first foil. Very nice, very cool. And a Fencing Ace. Okay, foil uncommon there, very nice. And our token. All right. So, so far, I think that that Braids Conjurer Death is actually a decent rare. I'm not sure about Geth, Lord of the Vault. No idea about him. So, all right. Bloodbriar, Tumble Magnet. I really don't know what else is really in here. I know the big, I know the big dogs, the Mana Crypt, all the swords. I'm really excited about the swords. Wait a minute. Okay. All right. Here we go. It is at Charm. That's a cool, I'm gonna keep that up here with the, with the cool uncommons. Trash for treasure, oh, very nice. Second pack in, Oubliette, coming for the uncommon. That is a sweet uncommon, and definitely. Ratchet Bomb, not so sure about that one. And then the Sculpting Steel for our two rares. Divest, oh man, okay. They talked a lot about this when this set was coming out. So Oubliette, we've been waiting for a reprint on it forever. Not only did I get the regular Oubliette, but I got a foil Oubliette, which there's never been a foil Oubliette in existence of Magic. This is the first one. This is probably going to be a pretty well sought after card. Very nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's what Double Masters is all about. It's all about amazing reprints with really awesome foils. And here we go, man. We are we are getting into it now. Okay, mirror retriever. Ooh, the power plant. I'm definitely putting all of those Urza's lands to the side. That's a cool one. Okay, veteran explorer. Ooh, yeah, Mishra's bobble. We we're doing good on the uncommons there. I believe there are a ton of good uncommons in this set. And then. Uh, Dueler Caster Mage for the first rare, and the Leonine Abunus, Cat Cleric. Okay, Argivian Restoration, very nice, and a Might of the Masses Foil, that's cool too. That's pretty awesome. 
And foils, foils on top of foils. Squirrel token. So this is going to get a little squirrely here for sure. We keep on this uncommon slot. We might. Our uncommon slot, I think, is actually doing better than our rare and mythic slot at the moment. Oogliette all day. I'll take 10 of those. Man, double masters. We're in it. We are here. Let me know what you're excited about. Oh, man. Uncommon slot for the win. Man of Morphos, uncommon there. Very nice. Gore Clan Rampager and a Skull Mulcher. Man, look at the art on that thing. Very nice. What do we got coming out here? Ooh, yeah. Second Mythic. Attracts a Praetor's Voice. That's a decent one. Angel Horror. That's a... You know, that's an oxymoron, isn't it? Toxic Deluge for the rare there. That's an awesome rare. And then we got a Sanctum Gargoyle foil. Very nice. And a Flare Husk. I wonder what the rate is going to be for foil rares or foil mythics in these regular booster boxes. Obviously, we know the VIPs are just chock full of crazy nonsense. And you get what you pay for in those for sure. But... I'm just curious as to how this is going to go for the regular uh, boxes and how many rare foils or mythic foils you're going to get. I'm very curious about that. Oh, Mishra's Factory. Very nice. So we've got two of the Mishra's lands already. A Treasure Mage. That's a decent uncommon. And a Path to Exile. Man, the uncommon slot. It is going crazy. And then we're going to add a very nice rare, Ad Nauseam. To the to the bundle here and then oh, the grim lava mancer not so great kazool's toll collector foil look at that oh man this is just too much fun and a glaze fiend yeah this is like christmas it's double christmas action going on here oh pick two packs we are almost through that first stack remember there's only 24 packs in the master sets so, here we are, doing our thing, opening up Double Masters on release day, no delays like Core 21, and ooh, Urza's mine, so that makes three, so now I've got all three already of the Urza's lands, very nice, Angel of Dawn, man, there's so such cool cards in here, Welding Jar, I think that that's a decent uncommon, Chief of the Foundry, and a Flicker Wisp. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Man, that's so cool. Flicker Wisp. I want to say that that was in the Lorwyn block originally. We got Engineered Explosives for our first rare. And a Sphinx. Sharoom the Hegemon. Sphinx rare. Steel Sabotage for our first foil there. And then a Bloodshot Trainee Goblin Warrior foil. Man, look at that. Nice foil uncommon there. Very nice. Oh, man. Okay. All right, we got two packs left in the first stack. We are moving along here. Uh, make sure that you guys check out the details below. See how to support Magic the Rescuing. And make sure you follow us on Instagram, at Magic the Rescuing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, all those good things uh, always help support the, the channel and, and what we do. Ooh, what is that? Parasitic Strix. I love the Strixes. They're so cool. Ooh, Skinwing. Another Urza's Tower there. Oh, are they different? I think that they're different, just like the old school one. That is very cool. Okay, Surge Node, Ancestral Blade, and our Uncommons. The Weapons Trainer, Disciple of the Vault, and the Death Reap Ritual. Awakening Zone for the Rare. Cool card, very nice. And a Merciless Eviction. And what are our foils here? An Expedition Map Foil. That's nice. Very cool. That might be the best common foil I could probably get here. And a Cog Worker or Cog Work Assembler. Very nice. Human Soldier. All right, last pack of the first stack. I actually think that this might have been the middle. If anybody's trying to keep track. I'm trying to map out our boxes here. Why you would want to map out boxes, I don't know. Might be doing something weird. Ancient Stirrings, that's a good card. The Full Shock Gauntlets again. 
I thought that that said frogify for a second, but it says fortify. Oh, very nice crop rotation. That'll be very nice. That's a good one. We'll put that in the uncommons up top there. Drown in sorrow. And the pure steel paladin. Very nice. I didn't see this one in the spoilers. I must have missed that. And then oblivion stone. Very nice. Fate counters. Okay, our foils are Crusader of Audric and a Conclave Naturalists. All right. All right, that's it for the first stack. We are on to the second stack here. Moving along. Oh, Conclave Naturalists. That's the last card that we got in the foils there. And it's the first card. Urza's Power Plant there. Very nice. And there, I was just talking about this card. There's, another, there's the Frogify. So Fortify and Frogify. And we just got another Fortify there. All I have to do is say the name. Okay, Mana Crypt. <laughs> All right, comments are Wolf Involved Mysteries, the Esperzoa. Ooh, that's our, our first land cycle there, the Rugged Prairie. Very good card there, followed by, ooh. Champion of Lamhole. Very nice. Very nice on the rear there. Crushing Vines for the foil. And a Treasure Mage. Foil Uncommon. Still have yet to get a foil rare or foil mythic. No swords yet. We got all the swords in this in this uh, deal here. So Driver of the Dead. The Corridor. I think I feel like that's in every set, the Corridor Monitor. But look at how cool that looks though. I feel like it looks better this time. These cards feel really good. Fairy Machinist, that's kind of cool. All right, Painsmith for the first uncommon. A Meyer Smith, all the Smiths, is that what we're doing here today? Okay. Rush of Knowledge there. Court of Calling, very good rare, that's awesome. I think M15 was the deal with uh, the Court of Calling, very nice. And another mythic, there we go, Arkham Dagson, legendary creature, human artificer, very nice. So cool, Strength of Arms for the first foil. And Jor's Familiar foil, I love this artwork, very cool. Like a steampunk owl going on there, very nice. Okay, moving along. Here we go. And I've heard so much about Double Masters online. It's kind of crazy about people getting their orders canceled, people getting their orders canceled, and then the same store increasing the prices and putting them back online. That stuff is just crazy. We got to we got to knock those people out of this world. They don't belong here. That's way too greedy for my liking. Fencing Ace for the Uncommon there. Thopter Foundry, that's a good Uncommon. I'm telling you, our Uncommons are just killing it right now. Pyrewild Shaman. And I don't even know, this is a rare? The Stone Hewer Giant, okay. Phyrexian Metamorph, okay, that's a good, that's a good rare. We'll take it. Orcish Vandal for the first foil. And a Golem Skin Gauntlets. That's actually a really nice foil there. I don't know if it does it justice on the camera, but it's pretty sweet. All right, we're about halfway through that second stack there. Moving along here. No compass? No problem. I don't know what that means. I think that's uh, maybe a store finder. Maybe that's what it is. We have definitely slowed down on the on the value here. We got a Valor of Akros. Reclamation Sage, that's a good card. Cranial Plating. Oh, there we go. What a oh man, I've been waiting to get one of these of the Masters boxes that I've opened. I've always wanted a Thought Seize. And this is a cool thought seize because it's got the fairy right in your little elvish ear. Nice and creepy going on there. Love that. And then a voice of resurgence. A corridor monitor. It's always a cool foil because it's got that light shining through the keyhole. And an iron league steed. Okay. 
So it looks like, man, we still haven't pulled any foil rares or mythics. Still no swords. But we still got plenty to go here. And of course, because it's double masters, you know we had to get two boxes. Ooh, Brainstorm. I will put that up here because I like that card. Very good card there. Sphinx of the Guild Pack for the Uncommon. A Vampire Hex Mage. Celestia Guild Mage. Liege of the Tangle. Again, I must have missed this card too in the spoilers as well. Very cool. Very cool elemental card. Oh yes, there we go. This is such a great commander. Reese the Redeemed. I'm so glad they reprinted yet again, even though it was just reprinted in Mystery Boosters. Uh, mis mystery Boosters? What did I say? Mist Man, I don't know how to say speak today. Very cool card anyway. That's awesome. A little Reese the Redeemed. Always make a great commander deck out of that. Heartless Pillage for the first foil. Ooh, man. A second really good foil uncommon. Fatal Push. Oh my god, that's really good. Um, that is a pretty... I don't know what it's valued at, but I know that it is a good uncommon to have in foil. Cathartic Reunion. Chromatic Star is actually a really good common card. Magnifying Glass. Ooh, what are we magnifying? Metal Spinner's Puzzle Knot. Okay, we got a Thopter Engineer. We got an Enlarge. That's an uncommon? I thought that was a common card. Kuldotha Flame Fiend. Masterwork of Ingenuity for our first rare of the pack. Ooh, very nice. Cyclonic Rift. Man, there's so many good cards in here. Alabaster Mage for the first foil. That's a really good foil. And then Trash for Treasure foil. I know people were having issues with, you know, like the raising up of certain cards from common to uncommon or downs from uncommon to common or to rare or whatever that is. But, I mean, I think that that's cool. I think that they, you know, once you evaluate whether or not it's actually a good card or not, why wouldn't it be able to? There we go. There's another Urza's. I think that's a different Urza's mine there. Very nice. Why wouldn't you change it if it if it makes sense? We got a Riddle Smith. There's lots of, oh, there's a, that's a theme there. The Smiths. Sandstone Oracle. That's a cool Sphinx card. Cogwork Assembler. And our first rare, Thespian Stage. Okay. A little rare land action there. Followed by the Grand Architect. Very nice. That was reprinted in Mystery Boosters, but I think only in the foil variety. Very cool. The Tamir Battle Rage for the first foil. And Sylvan Might, second foil. And in these boxes, you're getting 48 foils. That is a lot. Last card of the second stack. Last pack of the second card. Last pack of the second stack. Okay, here we go. Bloodbriar again. Okay. Oop. I was. Sometimes I miss one. Oval Chase Daredevil. Dread Return. That's a decent card. Topple the Statue. I love the artwork on that card. Look at that. Very cool. Okay, and Shamanic Revelation for our first rare, followed by the Hammer of Nizan, second rare. Okay, Dark Steel Axe for the first foil, and then oh, first foil rare, and it's a Noble Hierarch. We haven't gotten that in the regular version, but man, it's so nice to get it in the foil. That's a very good foil. We are getting some decent foils here. Oh, that's so awesome. And our first foil rare, and we are on to our last stack here. This has been a really cool and fun opening. I mean, it's always fun to get a new set, but this is just, it's so different, and it's got so many good uncommons in it, and even a few good commons that, I mean, it's 
this. The, the cards are not only are valuable, but they're useful. And that's always good. That's, that's how the master sets are. That's why, that's why we love to open masters. And dismantle. And then the, ooh, very nice. Mesmeric orb for the rare there. Followed by a blink moth nexus. Okay. I don't really even remember this card. 1-1 one, one Blink Moth Artifact Creature. Okay. Sphinx Summoner for the Uncommon Foil. Very nice. And a Death Reap Ritual. Another Foil Uncommon. Again, I don't even know the values on a lot of these. Because obviously they just came out. And there's going to be some fluctuation as we all know. But I feel like... A lot of the uncommons are... I'm just doing way better on uncommons than I am on rares and, and mythics. And maybe I'm wrong. But call me out. Call me out in the comments if I am wrong. But it looks like I'm getting a lot out of my common and uncommon slot here. Okay. Throne of Geth. Okay. Another path to exile. So we talk about the uncommon slot and there it is. More Croot Banshee. That's a... Oh, yes. Yes! Double Masters and the doubling season. Awesome card. This is what Double Masters was made for. And it's the cool art. I love this cool, cool art. Now, now, don't get me wrong. The crazy alternate art, full art, is really, really cool. But I love this old school doubling season art. There's nothing like it. The million dragons all coiled together so cool awesome followed by a Skurzdag high priest man very cool pulling a doubling season out of double masters the sanctum spirit for Ooh, look at the stained glass behind him that's so cool and then a divest that's also really creepy looking like fairy creature there awesome Woo! Doubling season. That's a great pull. That is a great mythic. See? Now, hopefully what happens here is we save the best for last. And there's a mana crypt sitting in here. There's another expedition map. Just the value is insane in the common and uncommon slot. I don't know if anybody's talking about that yet. But there's a fatal push. Awesome uncommon card there. Oh, man. Okay. Here we go. Vishkal Blood Arbiter. Okay. Very cool legendary creature. Very nice. And the Slumbering Isle. Very cool card. I really like this card. It's pretty awesome. Followed by a foil, a braid. Who doesn't like foils? And then a foil, Whisperer of the Wilds. Very cool. All right, we just have five packs left here. Double Masters, first box. We can't forget about the map, the Double Masters box topper. Now, the fact that there's only one pack, I'm just hoping that, you know, they put the two cards in there. Otherwise, me and Wizards are going to have a little chat. So there's our Urza's Tower. Look at the Bloodshot Trainee. He's cool. Valorous Stance. A Brimstone Volley. First rare. Deep Glow Skate. That's a good card. Very nice. And yes. Yes, I wanted one of these. I kept on saying it. There's the Skitherix, the Blight Dragon. I've heard people call him Skittles. But he's so cool. What a cool card. Legendary Creature Dragon Skeleton. And then here we go. Followed by the Surge Node. And that's our fifth mythic, it looks like. Surge Node Foil, and a Welding Jar Foil. Very nice, another Foil Uncommon. Lots of Foil Uncommons happening, and you know, in the beginning there, we got some pretty cool ones. And then of course we got that Noble Hierarch. We're just, we're doing well on this first box, I feel like, it's doing really good. None of the crazy cards, and none of the swords yet. But, I just, I, I like this set, I really do, I like it a lot. Gelatinous Genesis, say that five times fast. A little factory, Mishra's factory going on. Very nice. I didn't know that that was in here. Did I? How did I miss that? Ooh, Goblin Guide for the first rare. Very nice. 
Ooh, and Basilisk Collar. Is that a, was that a rare to begin with, or did they upgrade that? I feel like they upgraded that. I could be wrong. A Frogify Foil. Very nice. And the Foil Volshock Gauntlets. That's also very cool. All right, just a few packs left here. Three to be exact, and plus the box topper. Just very, very cool. I love this. Again, nothing crazy big yet. Ooh, look at that chatter of the squirrel. A squirrel deck. It's got to be coming. I got to get some. Ooh, Springleaf Drum. That's a good uncommon. I didn't know that was in here either. I love that card. Woodland Champion. Twilight Mire. That's our second uh, rare land in that in that new uh not new but um in the land cycle there for the for this set greater good i don't know that i've seen that card topple the statue foil very nice Ooh, foil rare time sieve wow that's cool and our second foil rare okay two packs left will we get a sword a mana crypt what are we going to get? What is going to come out of these last two packs? I feel like a winner already. So whatever comes, I'm good. There's another expedition map. Very nice. The buried ruin, the hidden stockpile. Unlicensed disintegration. You are not licensed to disintegrate me. And then Riku of two reflections. Very nice mythic pull right there. And also very double masters, obviously, with the two reflections. Oh, ooh, yes! I actually really love this card. Wrath of God. Very nice rare pull there. Ah, oh, this is... We're winning. We're, we're winning every day. This is awesome. Executioner's Capsule. Man. Okay, last pack. Here we go. What's it going to be on the last... Pack. What are we getting? What are we getting? Man, there's his mine there. Very nice. A pongify. So we got frogify, fortify, and pongify. What does that even mean? Pongify. Pented prism. That's a cool card. Ash Barons. Alright, what do we got? Beacon of Unrest for the first rare. A Lux Cannon for the second rare. Parasitic Strix Foil. Man, that's cool. And Driver of the Dead to end it out. And don't forget, we got the Box Topper. And there should be two cards in there. Question is... What's it going to be? There better be two cards in here. I'll be really mad. It doesn't feel like two cards, but I've never actually just held two cards to see. I always want to be careful with these because it's, it's so delicate. It almost makes me want to get scissors and just cut it sometimes. Bear with me, I apologize. There we go, okay. Alright, here we go. It is two cards, so that's a sigh of relief. We don't have to call anybody. And what's going to be the first one here? An expedition map. Okay, alright, that's a good start. I'm not mad at it. Not the best one. What do we got here? <laughs> First Double Masters box, ladies and gentlemen. Jace the Mind Sculptor box topper mythic. I don't know that it gets any... Well, I'm sure it gets better than that. But man, that is a great pull. Look at him in all of his glory. Reprinted yet again. Oh man, what a great opening. What a cool video. I hope you guys like it. And if you like it, like it. If you love it, subscribe. Thanks for watching Magic the Rescuing. 
check us out in the details below how to support us. And thank you so much for watching.